Welcome to this month's collaboration video. In today's video, we're going to talk about our top five scenic locations. Linton and Nymouth. We recently toured Exmoor. While we were there, we visited the twin towns of Linton and Linmouth. Absolutely stunning view of Linmouth from the town at the top of the hill, Linton. And between the two towns, there is a funicular railway which is powered by water. Rather an interesting place to visit. Yeah, it was a really nice trip on the funicular railway as well. We took Dottie and Miley with us and they loved it. Let's get ready to go for a ride on the famous Linton and Linmouth funicular cliff railway. Opened in 1890, it is the highest and the steepest totally water-powered railway in the world. It feels like quite a steep track. Hope the wires don't snap. As the other carriage approaches, everyone waves. Blue Anchor. This year, we visited the town of Blue Anchor twice. We were recently on a rally at Blue Anchor. It's a place that we consider going back again. It's not a very far drive from home, uh, but far enough to feel like a completely different place. The West Somerset Railway has a length of 20 miles. It has 10 stations, including the one at Blue Anchor. The line runs between Bishop's Lydiard and Minehead. The sun sets across the cornfield. In our opinion, this is one of the best beaches on the whole Somerset coastline, and we felt like taking a stroll on it. Jamestown, south of the city, St. Hostel. Famous for the harbour, which contains tall ships, it's been the backdrop of many a television series and movie. You can take a walk down to the harbour and walk around the tall ships. There are several boat cafes and bars there if you want to have a relaxing drink by the waterside. There's also a beach close by. We enjoyed the wave action on the beach and up against the picturesque harbour wall. What kind of voyages have started or ended at this harbour? Shrewsbury. Our very first trip in our camper van had us going to Shrewsbury. We were at the Love to Stay site, which itself offers some reasonable views. We really enjoyed our day trip into Shrewsbury and we saw some of the historical town. There's lots of lovely architecture and history to be seen. We'd probably go back there as we didn't get to see much of it as I was still a little unwell from a recent operation. There's Kev from Yorkshire Motoromas. The Market Hall has this interesting feature. Is it some kind of tally system? Plenty of places to eat and drink. We were spoiled for choice. Wonder what is down the bare steps. It's a Harry Potter shop. nice wood. We ended up eating at the Golden Cross. The Brecon Beacons, Wales. We spent nine or ten days in uh, Brecon last year and as part of our stay there we visited the Brecon Mountain Railway. Not only did we see lots of lovely countryside as we were on the train. The train stopped at the turnaround point Ponce Distill Station Reservoir. Now the weather wasn't too great and most people had popped off to use the facilities or to get a coffee or an ice cream, but I wanted to stay and have a look at the view. You could see the rain clouds coming in and getting closer and closer. It just felt... Atmospheric. Yeah, it was. It was very atmospheric. Dams in the Brecon Beacons were constructed in the late years of the 19th century and the early years of the 20th. Clunon Dam near Grawen is a strikingly beautiful example. Penny Fan is visible in the distance. On a visit to Truithit Farm, which I'm not going to talk about the views because somebody else is bound to, we took a trip to Boscastle. Boscastle is a beautiful town with a harbour on the Cornish coast. Also, as part of this trip away, we took a coastal walk down to the ladies' window. Pete set up the camera gear and we watched a lovely sunset. After putting away the camera, we enjoyed watching the crabbing boats. The Cornish pasties from this shop were delicious. Oscastle is a sheltered natural inlet with an unspoiled harbourside village. Whose wellies are these? We enjoyed exploring Boscastle and the rain did not dampen our spirits. Look, there's a bit of a curve on that roof. The Museum of Witchcraft and Magic is a place we'd like to return to when it's open. 
Minehead Camping and Caravan Club. The site offers stunning views of the Somerset coastline. During our stay, we were lucky enough to see a rainbow. Didn't find any pots of gold there. <laughs> we wish we had, but we didn't. The drive to this site is totally worth it. We enjoy some spectacular views of the Somerset coastline, including Butlins in Minehead. Now Butlins is a thing that looks like a tent. Here's the rainbow, and the pot of gold we have is our golden coloured van. Stonehenge hardly needs any introduction. It's a world famous site which is managed by English Heritage. We were fortunate to camp there not so long ago. It was lovely to look out of the camper van window and have a view of the ancient stones. Interestingly, we found the staff were very friendly with the local crews. This was a wonderful place to spend the night. Stonehenge is clearly visible in the field close to us. Here are the stones from a bit closer. Did you notice the crows flying over? Our English Heritage membership allowed us to walk around with no charge on the day. Bargain. Do you like our pick of places? Everybody's idea of picturesque is different, which is why you will find a plethora of picturesque places to pick from if you watch all the videos in this playlist. Did you like our selection of scenery? Have we left something out? Drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching.